Hey, what's up, y'all? Classic Kev, back with another episode. Y'all, honestly, it's really probably the most important episode yet, because on today's episode, guys, I want to talk about my top five favorite Cardano NFT projects, and the reason why I want to do this, because I'm sure as some of y'all have noticed, we're seeing a lot of big names organically come into the Cardano NFT space. You know, guys, people like Snoop Dogg, Martin Lawrence, even Soldier Boys come into the Cardano NFT space. So um, I really just wanted to give y'all a breakdown on my top five projects that I'm investing in. And let me start by saying, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, and I was not paid by any of these projects to make this video. Well, some of them did, however, threaten my family. Joking, joking. None of these projects threaten my family. Let's go ahead. Let's get started. Break. All right, guys, in full disclosure, I'm only including Cardano NFT projects that I personally own since this is my top five Cardano NFT projects. So as you may know, if you follow this channel, I did own a Claymate. I did recently sell it. I used the money to buy land in Bake Nation, and I own a Clay Nation Good Charlotte, but I just didn't feel it was fair to put them on this list considering that I recently sold my Claymate, which I'm kind of regretting doing. But, but if you're involved in the Cardano NFT space, you know Clay Nation's a top five project. Anyway, anyway, so let's go to number five, guys. And number five is going to be a really controversial one. Now, there's going to be people watching this video that's going to say this project should have been number one. And there's going to be people watching this video that says this project shouldn't even be on the list. And the project is Boss Cat Rocket Club. Now, I'm going to go over the good and the bad of the Boss Cat Rocket Club. Now, let me start by saying, guys, when I evaluate these projects, I'm evaluating them as an investor. You know, not as not as a fan of the art, not as a gamer, strictly as a mechanism of making money as an investor. But I'll say this, I'll say this. The, the biggest knock is that the team is not doxxed. That will always be a knock. But however, I'm, in, I'm investing. I own land and Boss Planet. I own a couple cats. So I do believe in what Blue Magic and this team have set out to do. But again, it's always going to be a knock on them for me until the team is fully doxxed. But the reason why they really still made the list at number five is 100% because of the community. I mean, it's one of the most engaged, active, uh, supportive communities in the entire, not just the entire, not just the Cardano NFT space, the entire NFT space of any NFT project I'm investing in. So community means a lot to me in an NFT project. So it's really awesome to see Boss Cat Rocket Club uh, community continue to show up day after day. Also, what's impressed me about this project, guys, massive partnerships. Guys, they were able to land partnerships with Manny Pacquiao and Baron Davis. I mean, this is this is really impressive stuff. This is the stuff I like to see as an investor. Also, too, um, you know, they're working on their Boss Planet Metaverse. It's going to have a casino and land holders are going to earn residuals from the cas like a casino tax. Pretty amazing concept. Y'all know I love passive income. And also, guys, they're working on a battle royale game, a play, a, pe a play to earn battle royale game. So imagine playing Fortnite, but making money to play it. So super excited about the long-term potential of this project, guys. So that's Boss Cat Rocket Club at number five. All right, guys, let's go to number four. Number four is no stranger to the channel, guys, the Lazy Llamas. Guys, I just really like what this team has done. You know, they, they came out with their mutation chamber. They've got a Lazy Island, you know, and guys, again, as an investor, when I look at the floor price of the Lazy Island, this is just, just a, a great opportunity. I mean, guys, this team secured a partnership with Bitcoin Racing. What other NFT project you're investing in is securing partnerships at this level? This is what I look for as an investor. And guys, the uh, the team, again, it, it's an all-star team. I've done other videos on the project, so definitely do your own research on that. All right, guys, number three, the Ada Ninjas. Another, another uh, project that's no stranger to this channel, guys. I've had the Ada Ninjas founder on this channel, interviewed him multiple times. I love what this team's doing. They have a play to earn game. You know, it's already got footage out. It looks really polished. Um, the, the team, you know, they're working on this manga, guys. You know, uh, NFT holders are going to get NFT copies of the manga. They really seem to me got the ball rolling and ahead of the game on the whole intellectual property thing. You know, they've got music coming out that's going to be an NFT soundtracks. And eventually down the road, I believe they're working on like an animated series. So super excited to be an early investor in this project. So that's Aiden Ninjas at number three. Now, guys, number two is, again, no stranger to the channel, guys, the Mutant NFTs. 
And I'm going to keep it short and sweet with the mutant NFTs, guys. The main reason, you know, I'm investing in this project and their main reason they're number two and probably could have been number one is the, this team built an entire NFT marketplace. And by being a holder of this of this project and staking your mutant NFT, you're going to receive residuals off of their NFT marketplace. So I kind of look at this as I'm an angel investor in a tech startup company that's built an NFT marketplace and I'm an early investor in that. So that's super exciting to me, guys, because imagine, you know, uh, in the early days of the internet, being able to, you couldn't have done this kind of deal with eBay, right? Do you think eBay was giving people like you and me residual income off of the profits they were making off of their service? Absolutely not. This this type of utility did not exist in Web 2. It only exists in Web 3. So anyway, guys, so super excited about the mutant NFT. I'll continue to cover them on this channel. All right, guys, number one, number one is also no stranger to, to this uh, channel. Now, I know a lot of you probably have never even heard of this project, but it's Fresco's NFT. And guys, I've had the founder of this project on my channel. He's got an extensive background in the hotel and hospitality industry. Guys, I want you to think about this. He owns properties in Greece, a number one tourist destination in the world. So when you buy his NFT, you instantly get 50% off of his properties. That is an amazing utility. That is amazing utility. So as an investor, I like to invest in projects that have instant utility. While most projects talk about what they're going to do, this project already gives holders, you know, basically a half off your, your vacation. They're also working on packages for yacht, you know, discounts on yachts, discounts on helicopter rods, discounts on other properties in, in other cities. I mean, this is really exciting time. And I believe when I first covered this project, guys, it was at like 180 or less. Check out the floor price now. So super excited about the Frescos NFT. Also, too, guys, while some of these projects are 10,000 collections, guys, this one's got a limited supply, 999. So scarcity creates value. Anyway, y'all, so Fresco's NFT is number one. And guys, really, you know, from investing in all these projects and talking to the teams, really any of these projects could have been one through five. You can interchange them any way you want. But but this is the way I, I, I graded them out. We'll, we'll check back on this video in a couple months and maybe uh, do a report card on it. But anyway, y'all, I'm Classic Kev. If you made it this far in the video, drop me a 100 emoji in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.